Hello, I'm Scott Zietlow, I'm a trauma surgeon at Mayo Clinic Rochester. I also am medical director for the helicopter program for Mayo Medical Transport. I would like to talk with you today about a really exciting project that we have as it relates to a pre-hospital thawed plasma. We've been carrying packed red blood cells in the helicopter since 1989, but realized that there would be an advantage to using thawed plasma as well. We've been using that in the emergency department to help with massive bleeding as well as uh, patients that are in anticoagulation. This is a benefit for those patients to decrease time uh, to correction of their coagulopathy or decreasing the amount of blood products that they may require. So we have been using thawed plasma with packed red blood cells for the appropriate patients in the pre-hospital care setting. This has just allowed us to move the technology that we use in the emergency department or ICUs to the field or to uh, outlying hospitals. We know that in our area only about 10% uh, of the hospitals that we serve have thawed plasma and so we are actually a mobile blood bank for the region. We have seen from research that we have done that we can decrease their INR or their coagulopathy from uh, a level of about 4.2 to 2.3 with our pre-hospital thawed plasma. We check that with our uh, point of care testing, the iStat device, or laboratory values from the home hospital. We believe that we can expand this in our area, uh, not just in Rochester, but also at our bases in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and in Mankato, Minnesota. And we would hope to be implementing that this year as well. In addition, uh, we have been helping other programs around the country implement this technology uh, so that they can also benefit from this advantage that we have seen in our uh, patient population. Again, the biggest benefits are for the trauma patients that are bleeding, medical patients that have significant bleeding, or for medical patients that have uh, intracranial hemorrhage that are on anticoagulation. Where do I see this going in the future? I think the best options are for something called factor concentrate. So not thawed plasma, but something that has a longer shelf life and that may be more applicable to more programs. We would hope to be testing that in the near future as well. I think this is an exciting topic, uh, something that is definitely helping patients that we serve and we would hope to be advancing this program in our region the, the remainder of this calendar year.